Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn Python tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can update the content of SQL database tables or SQLite database tables using Python. So here I've got DB Browser just to show you. I've got a table called contacts inside of a database called test1.db and here are four people in my contacts table. I'm going to update Claire and I'm going to change her telephone number. Good. So let's get started. First you need to open up a terminal, uh, just for the sake of the demonstration. And in Windows you right click on the Start menu, and click on Command Prompt. In Linux just click on your terminal. Go to the correct folder. And you can see that I'm in the correct folder because here it is, test1.db. And there's my test1.db. And from here we can open up Python and get started. Let's just make a bit of space there. So we need to import the SQLite 3 module so that we can use all the tools that that's got. Then we connect to the database. And we do test1.db. Here, make sure that you do put in the, the correct name of the database. If you don't put the correct name in, it won't come up with an error at this point. It will just create a new file called whatever you just called it. And then when you come to do your select query or your update query in a minute, it'll fail because it'll say there's no such table as contacts. So we connect to the database. And then what we do is we create a cursor object, which the cursor object is what we use to execute the update commands. Good. Now, here in your Python programs, normally you'd probably use an input or something to go and actually get the data of who you want to update. I'm just going to hard code that data for the sake of the example. So I, for the name of the person is going to be, there we go, Claire. And her new telephone is going to be Five five four four five five. So there you go. So we've got the details of the person who we want to update. Then we need to create an entry before we do uh, an entry tuple. And this one, what we need to make sure is we need to put it in the name of the thing that you want to change first. So make sure, for instance, I'm going to change her telephone. So make sure that goes first followed by the name of the item that you're going to filter against. So here, we're going to change the telephone, but we're going to filter against the name so that we're only going to change the telephone if it matches a name. And you can see why in a second. And then what we do now is we do the c.execute and we do an update query. Update, and then the name of the table and then the thing we're going to set, and then a question mark, and there we go. And then we do the entry bit at the end. So just to run through what's happened here before we press enter, if I actually let's press enter and make sure it works. Oh, no, I've done something wrong. Uh, oh, I should have done a comma there. There you go, perfect. So, you can see here why we've done the tuple here in kind of what would be reverse order from common sense. In human, uh, for me, anyway, personally, I think of the name first of the, who I want to change and then the item that I'm going to change it to. In this case, you can see where the query goes this way around. Um, it update contacts where uh, set that where the name is that. There we go. And here, that should now, in fact we won't have done there yet, what we need to do now is we need to use a commit. And this means commit the changes or, oops, save the changes. Uh, oh, not c.commit, not committing with the cursor, db.commit. So you commit into the database. There you go, it's done that. At this point, if you did db and commit and it kind of hangs for a bit and then locks, what you might want to do is just close uh, db browser if you're using db browser 
uh, and then try running that line again. Uh, that does happen. There we go. So now, here, it's not changed yet, but if we go over here and click back, and there you go, you can see it's updated the uh, table, which is great. But there is a problem. Let's say here, um, if you look here, let's say we've got two people with the same name. So let's just add another person. Um, in fact, here, let's just, just DB. Let's see if this will work. It might not do it. Uh, let's add Bob. And let's say is uh, another Bob. His age is 50. And it's Bob2 at Bob.com. And there we go. So we've got two people that save that. Well, that let me save. Right, changes. Good. So now we've got two Bobs in the database, which which causes us a problem because here, if we were to do, let's say, name equals Bob, and then change it here, uh, telephone, change it to the new thing. When we run this line of code here, it's going to change every Bob in the database to be uh, every everyone called Bob, the name Bob, it's going to change all of their telephones. So we don't really want to do that. We can't use the name in this instance. So what can we do? Well, instead of using um, instead of using their name, we can use the row ID here. So let's say um, there we go. In your Python program, let me just show you how this might work. Let's give you an example. So let's say in your program here, we do query equals So there we go. So we've got a query where we go and get all of the all of the people from contacts for row in query. So let's say somewhere in our program we had something like this, hopefully quite a bit more pretty, and we've got all of the contacts we can choose which one that we want to update. Now, I could guess and say that here, this is row ID uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I could guess that this is row ID number 2. But that's not always going to be the case. Because if you have deleted someone out of the, the table, uh, it might not appear here. And yet their row ID might be different. So it might go row 1, row 2, row 4, row 5, row 6. So how do we go and get, because there, with that star query there, it didn't get the row ID. And yet clearly it has a row ID there. Well, what we can do here is we can say, okay, um, run the select query. But instead of doing select star, we actually specify row ID, name, age, telephone, email. There you go. So we specify that we want to do the, uh, we want to include the row ID in the query. And there you go. Now it's there. So we've got all of the row IDs. So we could say, okay, I want to update row two. So let's just do row equals and let's do two. And now we do the entry on a name equals Oh, no, we don't need the name, do we? we need the new telephone? So the new telephone. Bob's the new policeman around here, so let's do 999. And then we can do our entry equals uh, telephone. That's the first thing we want to do. Telephone, comma, row. Good. And now we could just do another query. See that executes. I do an update, set telephone equals so and so, where row equals, uh, row ID equals question mark. And that should now, hopefully, if we do uh, db.commit, it should save. Let's go back. And there it is. Bob number two has been changed, but Bob number five has not been changed. So. Again, how you use that is entirely up to you, but you've got all of the options there. Uh, but really, really powerful, really, really useful. Uh, and once you get used to the different SQL commands, you can do a lot with it. As always, once you've finished, 
At the end of your program, just run a db.close and it will close the connection to the database. There you go. Thank you very much. If you like the channel, do subscribe. There'll be plenty more tutorials. Thank you.